Lights and Gear is back to take a look at another flashlight and I have the latest little light from Olight. I3T EOS is this little double A. Actually it's not a double A, it's a triple A flashlight. And as you can see, it comes in a very small box. And the actual flashlight is the same size as it is on the front of the box. So, uh, just so you can see, as you pull it out here, you will get the flashlight inside the little um, little cutout in here. And here's the instruction manual. Not much to get inside the box, nothing else to see whatsoever. The flashlight already has a standard alkaline AAA battery installed with it. And it actually looks, well at least the light I got, actually looks just like this, the battery they give you. Just a cheap little a cheap little AAA battery, of course, um, which um, will drain after a little while. But I've got some other battery options here for you, which I'll discuss in a couple of moments. On the box, you have a little bit of information, and it does give some of the statistics right here. They tell you that the high lumen, the high mode rather, is 180 lumens with 60 meters of beam distance, and which runs for about 21 minutes. Then you've got low at 5 lumens and a beam distance of 12 meters. You can see it's impact resistant, has a Luxion TX LED. It is IPX8, so it's submersible. And there are your uh, weight and measures with the light. So, very small, not a lot of information. Five year guarantee, five year warranty from the folks at All Light. So, instruction manual, like all Olights, doesn't really give you a whole lot. It mainly uh, focuses on about 10 other languages. And as far as the English is concerned, doesn't say much else than what I've already described. Here's the on and off explanation, or the operation of it, which I'll get to in a few moments. There is no mode memory, and it just has the two modes as I think we already saw on the side of the box, low and high. So here is, of course, the same information repeated again, but also to tell you that it's uh, AL6061T6 aluminum body with hard anodizing is what it's made of. So once again, the flashlight is right here, only about... Uh, three three and a half inches and to see the name you gotta turn it around this way I3T with Olight on the other side this is rather interesting here which improves the grip I suppose even if your hands are wet here's the LED amidst a little tiny smooth reflector there's a button on the back which operates the light. It's also tactical, so you get momentary on. And as you can see, here's the pocket clip, which is, which is already installed. The pocket clip runs two ways, and you can put it on this way, of course, with it facing downward in your pocket, with all this area here, with your pocket going all the way up to here or you can face it the other way with your with the rim of your pocket going this way with it facing upward as you can see so you can you can put it in your pocket both ways and it works just as well either way so take off the cap and it's got a nice deep spring in here so with the deep spring it can reach just about any type of battery you have in there whether it has a little bit uh, whether it's a little shorter in length or a little longer in length and this is almost a nice little touch having the having the threads here almost like a almost like a bronze um, or a gold color if you will same color as the spring so that's uh, rather classy looking that they've done with the threads and they appear to be square cut as well 
So inside the light, you just have a post up in there at the top. Let's um, take a look at the battery choices. Now, I've already shown you the battery which it comes with. However, you can also use, as it says in the manual, and let me show you that quickly. There are your battery choices. One AAA alkaline, which is included. One AAA lithium, or one AAA and IMH. Nowhere in the manual or anywhere does it say what the working voltage is, which led me to believe, can you use uh, the 3.7 volt 10440 with the uh, lithium? So it just says lithium battery, does not really specify whether they mean like an energizer lithium that you might get at Home Depot or something which will still be like uh, 1.5 volts. So, uh, you know, a little bit of a question there, but I did happen to take my EFEST lithium-ion battery here, the 10440, and I did try it, and for the few minutes I had it on, it did a great job, uh, made it very bright, and um, sometimes what happens in small lights like this that will accept batteries like this they get extremely hot after a few minutes. Um, in the short time that I ran it with this battery, it did not appear to be getting terribly hot, but I'm sure given a few more minutes, it would. So, let's do a test here on the batteries. I'll take the... Um, basically, you'll get the same performance out of an NIMH AAA. As you can see right here, you'll get the same performance out of this as you would with the battery they included with the light. So let's um, put an N loop in here. We'll turn out the lights, make it all spooky in here. Now the way you operate the light, actually what I can do is just do this quickly to show you the operation. The way you operate the light is to press the tail cap briefly, and this is momentary. Now there are your two modes. As long as you keep touching this momentarily, you'll go through the two modes. Low, high, low, high, just like that. And the way you obviously lock the mode in is to give it a click. So if I go low and then click it, I will stay on low. And the only way in this instance to get to high is to click it off and click it on again. If you do that, it'll immediately uh, switch to high. So um, there's no SOS, there's no flashing mode, there's no nothing else. It's just low and high. And turn it off, give it a firm click. So let's uh, compare the battery here. So here is low. I'll turn it off and then I'll go like this. So there's low and there's high. I'll lock it in on the high mode. So here we are on the high mode with the um, Eneloop battery, NIMH. So here is the high mode. Now what I'm going to do is switch it to the EFEST 10440 with the 3.7 volts. And we're going to compare this output to that output. And now, through the magic of video editing, I have put the other battery in the light. So now we are using the 10440 with the 3.7 volts. So we're using that battery now. So if you can see a difference between the two batteries, then uh, great, super duper. You've now seen what it can do with a standard AA or an NIMH and a lithium ion 10440. So uh, once again, I'll just switch it out here. And now I'm back using the NIMH. But it's a nice little flashlight, and it was starting to get warm uh, after those brief moments that I was demonstrating the other battery. It's now cooling off and is no longer as warm as it was a few moments ago. So it definitely does increase the heat with the other battery, as I, as I assumed it would. But with a light like this, you probably aren't going to use it a whole you know, probably aren't going to use it for a long time each time, but um, for the times that you do use it, even with the 10440 battery, if that's what you choose, 
that you know I don't think you'll have any any um, real issues so as you can see on the uh, messy floor area over here that obviously in the high mode and indoors it'll do exactly what you need it to do and I think you can imagine that if you were outside and if you were you know had to go and as an added bonus, here is what the Olite looks like outside. So here's the kind of beam it puts out while it's outside, and this is on high mode right now. So as you can see, it does very well. And here it is on low mode outside. So even in close proximity to, to the thing that you're illuminating, it does very well even on the lowest mode. And I will point out that this is using the uh, lithium ion battery. And here again is the high mode. And again, we're using the lithium battery. So this does extremely well. So I think from that, you can see that it would do, that it does uh, very well outdoors in uh, this kind of a distance just as well as it does indoors. So this is kind of a nifty little flashlight and obviously good to clip onto your pocket and whip out anytime you need a little bit of light and it could even be um, an accessory to even a larger light that you might carry with you uh, uh, you know for for EDC purposes on any given day. So again, Olight has produced a very nice little flashlight, the i3T EOS, and um, it is indeed a slim EDC flashlight, so they're not whistling Dixie on this one, and it does have some pretty good, obviously it has good Olight quality. It was supplied to me by the Olight store, there's also a link below if you'd like to purchase one yourself or have a look at it on their site, and of course leave me questions and whatnot on flashlights, batteries, and chargers at uh, lightsandgear.com. Um, but, uh, of course, this light, uh, one thing is it does not tail stand. So, um, as you can see, it's, uh, you know, it's got the protruding switch at the back. So there's no tail standing capability on this. Nice flashlight from Olight, i3T EOS. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. And, of course, check it out at the Olight store if you'd like to pick one up. Do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time for more, and take it easy.